Hi there strangers. During my time playing Undawn, I've had many opportunities to see that many players have a very superficial understanding of how damage and armor piercing work. Misunderstanding these parameters leads to mistakes in character development and a constant lack of damage. In this short video, I'll explain the difference between damage stat, damage percent, base damage, and armor piercing, so you know exactly which of these parameters to develop. Many players think that one point of damage stat increases the damage dealt by one point, this is not the case. In reality, 10 points of damage stat increase the damage dealt by your character by 1%. However, even players who are aware of this, often make the mistake of thinking that damage will only increase when reaching a damage stat multiple of 10. In fact, each point of damage stat will increase the damage dealt by your character by 0.1%. I know the basic Undawn damage formula, and I'll soon make a separate video about it, subscribe not to miss it. Understanding how damage stats work already gives us an idea of which purple stats on weapons are more effective, plus 61 damage or simply plus 4.4% damage, for example. Because of what was said above, 61 points of damage will increase your character's damage by 6.1%, which is undoubtedly more and better, despite the negative difference in the rating of these parameters. As far as I understand that damage percent parameter differs from damage units in that it affects not only the damage of main and heavy weapons, but also some other types of damage that I haven't confirmed yet. I think we'll come back to this issue in future videos. Now I would also like to explain the difference between damage and base damage. The difference is that the base damage parameter is tied to a specific weapon, while damage units and damage percentage work on both main and heavy weapons simultaneously. For example, when you polish your weapon, you develop the base damage of that specific weapon. This also works with passive effects of ultimate skill chips that increase base damage. If you try to switch weapons after getting the buff, it will instantly disappear. In other words, the game won't allow you to get a boost from the concentration chip and then use a grenade launcher, gaining plus 16% damage. Similarly, the purple stat, base damage, will not amplify the damage of any other weapon except the one it is in, and this is also important to understand. However, most mistakes are made due to a misunderstanding of how the armor piercing parameter works. There are a total of four such parameters, the main armor piercing, which affects damage to any part of the target's body, and head torso leg armor piercing, which adds up to the main when dealing damage to the corresponding part of the body. My tests show that when calculating damage dealt, the amount of attacker's armor piercing is subtracted from the target's armor. I even managed to determine the amount of armor that mobs in the game have, it is approximately 7 units for each level of the mob. That is, if a mob is level 50, it will have about 350 armor. As for bosses, I'm not sure yet, I think there will be a separate video about that later. Now it's important for you to understand a few things about armor piercing. First, armor piercing increases your damage only if the target has armor. If your armor piercing is higher than the target's armor, your damage will not be increased. Second, Armor piercing increases the damage not only of your weapon but also the damage of some of your skills, including auto turret and grenade for example. The damage increase occurs only if the target has armor. In comparison, damage stats do not affect the damage of your skills in any way since their power depends on the skill strength parameter. Third, armor piercing provides a greater damage boost than any equivalent damage stats if the target has armor, and it's quite easy to check on mobs. If we are talking about damage to players, armor piercing will always be more effective than any comparable damage stats because the armor of enemy players will always be higher than your armor piercing. Finally, if you listened carefully but as usual didn't understand anything, here's a small tier list of parameters that need to be developed with the help of purple stats in equipment. Highest priority, armor piercing. Medium priority, damage units. Low priority, damage percentage. Last priority, base damage. I emphasize that these situations are when you have a choice between comparable parameters. For example, if you can get 40 armor piercing or 4% damage, the choice is obvious. 
Armor piercing will not only increase the damage dealt with main and heavy weapons but also the damage of some of your skills. Thanks to this, armor piercing is currently the best parameter for increasing damage against armored targets and, that's all for me today. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. As always, in the pinned comment you'll find a link to more than 30 undawn guides that will help you better understand the game mechanics. Happy hunting survivors and, till next time.